So Samsung has recently launched their lightest and the thinnest foldable ever, the Galaxy Z Fold 7. Now you might be thinking it does have IP48 rating, so is it waterproof? In short answer, no, it isn't. But then what's the IP rating is for? Let me tell you. Well, the first and foremost thing is that any electronic handheld devices are not waterproof. None of them. All of them are water resistant, but to a certain extent. And to explain that, there is the IP rating. For example, the IP rating has two numbers. One of them signifies how much protected the internal components are from dust. And the second one actually shows from the fresh water. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 and the Z Flip 5 had IPX8 rating. That means there was no dust protection at all, at least officially. But this time it's 48. The 4 signifies the Galaxy Z Fold 7 is protected from dust particles greater than 1 mm. For example, the normal sand that we talk about a lot is usually 0.05 mm to 2 mm. So certain types of sand cannot get in it, but most types of sands, the fine sands, can get in it. The fine sand can range from even 0.07 mm to 0.42 mm as well. So it's definitely better than not having any IP rating for dust at all, but it's not the best either. But then what's the number eight signifies? Well, this is actually for fresh water, though the so no chemical waters or salt water are included in that. They can damage the device anytime. So in this case, the eight signifies that the internal components of the device is protected from fresh water up to a depth of one and a half meters or five feet for 30 minutes. So then how it is different from the IP68? Well, the eight number is similar. So the water protection is identical on both the slab smartphone, like a Galaxy S24 Ultra or the foldable devices. The six in the IP68 signifies the device is dust proof. So the goal is for the foldable phones is to get the IP68. So then what's the difference between water resistance and waterproofing? Well, waterproof means the device is actually protected from water for indefinite amount of time and at any depth. And that's not the case for any handheld devices, whether you talk about smartphone, smartwatch or anything. But water resistance means it is kind of waterproof, but to a certain degree, like one and a half meters for 30 minutes. So beyond that limit, it might not be able to handle anything and the water will get inside and damage the device. So the question is, can you go shower with it? Well, you can, but you shouldn't. Rain is fine for this device. You can go to the pool, but you can't go swimming with it. All of these IP ratings are based on laboratory tests, so real life usage might vary. So before doing anything stupid with the phone, keep all of these things in mind, and that's totally it. And yes, if you want, you can get some crazy cool wallpapers up on my website, a link down below. Until the next one, bye and take care.